Hi, I'm Eric Paquette, an automation engineer with Kendall Electric. In this video, I'll be introducing you to the PanelView Plus 7. I'll be discussing both the standard and performance editions and the features of each. By the end of the video, you'll have a pretty good understanding of what the PanelView Plus 7 has to offer. So let's get started. The PanelView Plus 7 was released in the fall of 2014. It runs with a Windows CE 6.0 operating system and is programmed with Factory Talk View Studio Machine Edition, the same software that you use for programming the PanelView Plus 6, its predecessor. There are basically two platforms in the PanelView Plus 7 world, the standard and the performance. One of the main differences between the two is the standard is designed to communicate with one PLC, whereas the performance can communicate with many. Another difference is the number of screens. The standard can have up to 100 screens, whereas the performance is only limited by its memory. And one final difference is the number of alarms. The standard can have 500 alarms. The performance is unlimited. For those of you familiar with the PanelView Plus 6, you'll notice the correlation between the two. The PanelView Plus 7 standard correlates to the PanelView Plus 6 compact, whereas the PanelView Plus 7 performance correlates closely with the PanelView Plus 6 standard. Some of the benefits of the PanelView Plus 7 over the PanelView Plus 6 are faster processor, increased memory, and increased screen resolutions in most sizes. The PanelView Plus 7 standard comes in sizes ranging from 4 inches to 15 inches, and the performance version comes in sizes ranging from 7 inches all the way up to 19 inches. Both have an available widescreen format option, which is a 16 by 9 ratio rather than the traditional 4 by 3 ratio. And while all the screens are touch screens, it's only the performance version that offers you the ability to have the numeric keypad and additional function keys on the side. The performance version also offers a stainless steel option in both the 9 and 12 inch sizes for hygienic applications. These versions also have conformal coated circuit boards for additional protection. And yet another benefit of the performance version is the extended feature set that come along with it from Microsoft. These include things like Internet Explorer, Microsoft Office Viewers, MPEG Video Playback via Windows Media Player, and the ability to control a remote PC via RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. So up until now I've been talking about the differences between the performance and standard version, but let's talk about some of the similarities between the two. When looking at the hardware, you'll notice they both have Ethernet ports. You can get the standard version in either a single or a dual Ethernet port, and the performance comes in dual Ethernet port automatically. This allows you to do network topologies such as a linear topology or a DLR, device level ring. They also both have a set of USB ports. They'll have a type B USB port which can be used for programming with any standard USB cable. You plug it into your computer, plug it into the HMI, and you can upload and download your MER file. The other type A ports are used for plugging in things like a mouse or a keyboard or USB thumb drives. The thumb drives can be used for things like data logging or transferring MER files back and forth. We also have a SD slot that we can put an SD card in it and do things like firmware upgrades or data logging or MER file transfers as well. So a few other things that are common to both the standard and performance versions of the PanelView Plus 7 include things like a PDF viewer, which you can use to view instruction manuals or machine setup instructions. We have ActiveX controls, which can do things like data logging, uh, ActiveX recipe controls, uh, also sending emails out. There are also a whole bunch of faceplates designed for the PanelV Plus line that are available on Rockwell Automation's sample code website. And these typically work with add-on instructions in the controller. You just point the faceplate to the add-on instruction and you can get all kinds of information out of things like I.O. modules, COM modules, PowerFlex drives, PID instructions, etc all pre-designed for you, you just drop them in and uh, they're ready to go. There's also remote technologies for remote viewing and or controlling of the HMI. Things like Viewpoint built into the software and the HMI. The HMI will publish HTML web pages. 
and that can be viewed on any browser on a PC on that network. As well as VNC, which is virtual network computing, you can basically uh, view the screen and or take control of it. So that wraps up my introduction to the panel V plus 7. By now you should have a pretty good idea of what this HMI line has to offer from Rockwell Automation. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like more information, please contact your local Kendall Electric account manager or automation specialist. You can also visit our website at kendallelectric.com and find a location nearest you. Stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or liking us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thank you and we'll see you in the next Kendall Quick Connection video.